Hey, when when did you first meet Run DMC? Oh man, one of those guys. Man, I met Jam. I met Jam Master J. J was uh, like I P Jam Master J, man. The J, J and Run D, man. I, I met J uh, for the first time. I saw Todd uh, LL, and uh, we was just chopped it up. He was talking on music, and I had to see J in school for a little while because we was going to the same high school. Then I transferred out. Went to a different high school after that, but uh, Jay was one of my uh, guys. I saw where this happened because of Jay. Real talk. I mean, he's one of the guys. I'm like, and DJ. I'm like, so I'm gonna wear a hat. <laughs> right, right. Looking so cool. I said, I would put the hat on. You know. So I mean, he's the reason why I have this hat on. Real talk. I have to say that. Uh, you know, Jay's one of my dudes. When that happened to him, I was heartbroken. You know. Uh, right. So, how many fedoras? How many fedoras do you have? Huh? How many fedoras do you have? I, I got about two hundred hats. I got all types of clothes. Uh, I'm, yeah, I mean, I, 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 at least two hundred, easy. Yeah. You're like the fedora king, man. You know what's so crazy? Like, I think a lot of people. Shout out to Conway the machine because he started wearing fedoras i was like yo he kind of reminds me of of e love man because the only ones who really was wearing fedoras you well, know was was jam master jay you know what i'm saying and you you know yeah jay got me jay got me wearing this thing i mean if it was not for jay i i probably wouldn't be wearing this hat real talk thanks sure. And, and, you, and speaking you, of Jam Master J, man, hold on. Speech of, speaking of Jam Master J, man, how was it being in one of the greatest hip hop movies and having with you your first scene in a movie with L. Cool J and Jekyll and Hyde? And I forgot, I, yo. Yo, that's Jekyll and Hyde, too. I was like, yo, that's crazy. Yo, behind, you know, all these posters, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mr. Jalil from Houdini because I looked at it. I was like, yo, that's Houdini's, you know what I'm saying? What, you know, the, the, the escape, you know, RP ecstasy. How was it feel? How was it a feeling of being a part of it? Because y'all, y'all was fly. You could tell that y'all made y'all's appearance in, in that scene. Like, how was that? I mean, you had, you had, I mean, look, you're competing. I mean, look at everybody in the movie. So you try to always do your best in the movie with New Edition. I mean, right. girls are just walking over New Edition all over the country. Then you have Blair Underwood. And, you know, Blair was a big, big rising star at that time. Yep. You had Run DMC, the King of Rock. So it's like, oh, man. You had the Fat Boys and Curtis Blow. So you had the. <laughs> Curtis Blow, shout out to the Curtis Blow, uh, Hip Hop Alliance. I got, I got to shout him out. Big uh, Billboard baby, all of them. Yo, shout out to them. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, the talent that was in that movie, up and down, was like, you can make a movie like that nowadays because you know, it'd be too many egos involved, bro. Right, and Sheila E. Like y'all had Sheila E. When she was like with Prince, like what? Like I was like. Yo, I was like, yo, this woman right here, and and I see, I have seen Sheila E perform for free over here in Paradise Light in Kansas City, and I I tell you, that woman can, I, I'm like, yo, this is straight, you know, because she's straight pop but hip hop, you know what I mean? Because she's so much all all type of you know cultures all in one, and when she drums, she drum like oh, I know. That had to be a wonderful experience to be with a group of all stars like that. Exactly. Keep in mind, you had Russell in there, Leo in there, and Rick in there. I mean, seriously, yeah. you can too, do that. Too, yeah, too you many got... brainiacs in there, right? Too many brainiacs. Too many, you know, master geniuses right there. And, and look, who, I don't know if you know about uh, George Jackson, Doug McHenry. You know, Doug was the, the director. George, yeah. oh, he was one. Of, I mean, those guys did a string of movies, and they all hit big. In that right. Cover. I mean, that was big. So uh, the whole slate from top to bottom rock. Right. What was one of your favorite parts in Curse Groove? Huh? What was one of your favorite scenes? It was, uh, like, how was it? What was your favorite scene in it? Box. Box. <laughs> <laughs> I just 
just had to hear it. I just had to hear it. Yo, Box. this is crazy. Box. When I heard that, I was like, yo, this is LL at his finest. You could tell how confident he was because he was like, I ain't hearing this shit. Box. We getting this. And when he goes, you know me, with what I can't live without my radio. And you hear that? Yeah. So to see the stardom from that eight younger, younger before that, finally boom. It's like here comes the takeover. Yeah. Takeover. It was a, it was a wave. It was a wave after that. The takeover. So, Chris, we, we we actually touched on that like a second before you dropped in. How I'm the only idiot that hasn't seen the episode, hasn't seen the movie. What you haven't watched it? You gotta you gotta watch it, man. I know. I Crush gotta Groove. go. Watch, this I is the things you now. gotta watch. You gotta watch Crush Groove. Well, first off, you gotta watch Wild Style. You gotta uh, watch Crush yeah. Groove, and you gotta watch B Street. Yeah, yeah. I seen I seen Wild Style. Check out Breaking while you add it too. Oh yeah, you gotta break in and break in too. Yeah, no, so my, in RP. Uh, yeah, I directed one. My boy wrote one and directed two. Okay, no shit. Yeah, really. Man, yeah, David Zito. Yeah, Charlie Parker. He's from New Jersey. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Charlie Parker. Yo, oh. that's crazy. Okay. Hey, what was one question I always wondered? Uh, what was your relationship with uh, Tupac? Oh man, I, I met Tupac, Bobcat, DJ Bobcat. Yeah. yeah. So they they roll with us. What up, Bob? Uh, Bobcat cousin Dion Skills. Dion was like, "Yo, e, yo, he kept beeping me crazy." I'm like, "What am I beep?" So finally, you know, this is beeper days. I finally was fun. Like, What's up, D? Yo, man, yo, 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 what you doing? Yeah, I got this artist, man. Yo, you gotta hear this one, bro. This is the one. <laughs> He is so he kept raving about the kid for like 15 minutes. I'm like, yo, what's his name? He finally said Tupac. I'm like, Tupac. Huh. Okay. I just had to think for a second. Because it was real different. Because everybody back in the day, this this is when rappers had uh uh DJ Rock, DJ Rock D. You know, everybody's name was something like that. And all of a sudden you heard Tupac. Wow, okay. I right. mean I'm different. You so the man I heard heard him, I said. Dude, no doubt, <laughs> no doubt to Bob. This was special. No, and he was, you know. To me, and Bob did some songs with him on All Eyes, and uh, Bob did more songs with him than I did. You know, did like two, three songs. Actually, two's coming out next year. But uh, Bob did a string of songs and still have not came came out. So, yeah. Okay. So you got right. un, you got unheard pop songs. Huh? You got unheard pop songs. Oh, uh, Bobcat does, yeah. No, top, I'm not couple producers that though. Oh, yeah. right now. That's awesome. That's sweet. right. Yeah. yeah, the one of the favorite songs I always have had is Going Back to Cali. Oh, uh, my gosh. I'm going back to Cali. Wow. Uh, man. Oh, finally, uh, man. I love this song. Like, yeah, how uh, was it making that? Incredible. My guy, uh, my guy Roy King, he played the horns in the in the starter song. And I just kept hearing it. And I'm like, I just hear it. And he just went in there. And I said, This is the guy who's gonna put the horns down. You know, there's a couple of uh sax players that came through, but I'm like, this is the guy right here, Roy King. You know, uh Roy is solid, he's one of the best sax players in the game, right? He's one of the East Coast. He plays with everybody. I mean, he, he makes his round in all types of different music. He is solid with that horn. Roy King, what up? Do you right, think? Yo, that's one of my, that's always one of my favorite songs. I remember, like, the first time. Yeah, I, heard yeah, about, I mean, he kills, he kills it. Right, right. First time I ever heard that song, like, I was young, but I always, always used to watch R.P. to my A. Marilyn K. Because I used to go to my A. Marilyn K's. And they used to always have, I think they used to have the little reruns and stuff. Stuff on um, Yo and TV rap sometimes, yeah. and I remember they played going back to Cali, and I was like, "Yo!" And then whenever every time I got young, I got older and older, and then the first time I wanted to go to Cali, the first song I thought about was that because yeah, the thing about that song was like if you wanted to go to Cali, nine times out of ten people would either play those songs going back to Cali from from 
from you and from Notorious B.I.G. You know what I mean? Like any any California, you know what I mean? But everybody will always wanted to, you know, listen to that type of type of beat, man. Like for real. And and it it was so different too. Like, yeah. do you think a little bit of um Rick Rock uh, Rick Rubin helped you? Oh well, I mean, Rick Rick was the master. I mean, he was, he was the master of ceremony in that piece. That was all Rick pretty much. You know, my guy, I just bought the guy that did the horns, but uh Rick was the master of ceremony in that piece, man. He did his thing, no doubt about it. But the horns set it off, it set the move for everything else that, that was about to follow. Right. Yeah, we have yeah, we have a drinking game also when we do interviews. Uh Every time Prince Allen gives a shout out to somebody that I don't know, we drink. So every time. <laughs> Yo, I had to say it. RP to my cousin because I lost my cousin last last week. Oh, last man. weekend. Yeah, yeah from a, he just fairly got murdered. Oh. And it's crazy because he was one of the, he was a, he was a huge hip hop fan. He was the reason why I wanted to even rap because because we used to always listen to him and we used to always see him pose like y'all, like my cousin always, you know what I mean? Like one of the rap and it's funny about him is because like he was so talented, like he would write his, he was, he would write his verse and his full song and then he'll remember it like that. And he won't even have to talk about it no more. He'll have it in his head and wouldn't even have it by his lyrics or nothing. He would always spit it out and it's crazy because like it really killed us because it was just like yo i used to always hear about this stuff man and he was the reason why i loved l cool j and and stuff like that and um because him and my other cousin but my other cousin thinks he's l cool j still you know you still got a lot of men thinking they l cool j you know what i mean so it was just like yo um, it was just the greatest uh, thing man 